Super Spears Brothers. <laughs> Say bye-bye, Casper. Bye-bye. All right, and we're back. And we're back. We get to pick a bonus flag. Uh, Brent, um, Michael made pretty much all the bonus levels. Again, being more a programming guy, they all had different programming. This one, it's randomized based on how many seconds you go into it. Oh, one life. Ooh. If, if you, you want to get more what? than one life. There, Fish spam is the only password I remember to this day. Yeah. Uh, I, oh, and also the password. What? That's right, there's rocks falling down. Oh, by the way, this is also another super special guest of... Casper, what's your name? Bob Tootock. A Bob Tootock. <laughs> okay, Larry, add in some special effects and lens flares or something. Bob Tootock. A Bob Tootock. That's yeah. right, there's rocks falling down. Uh, this level yeah. is just a, a test of your patience, because you basically have to stand here continuously as the rocks fall down. Making this game was really fun. What was cool about it... Is <laughs> that, uh, it's, hit, it's one of my favorite things about game design. <laughs> this is the best we episode. Hit rocks. Oh, do I hate the rocks? Mm -hmm. Okay. Or do you want me to get hit by the rocks? Mm -hmm. um, it's, oh, this is the one that I could never beat as a kid for some reason. It's the happy... Oh, hate. <laughs> yeah, hate. Mm -hmm. So much hate. Rocks. That's right, the rocks. The ro <laughs> do the rocks fall down? Mm -hmm. did you, did, did, do you think that Dad can get pa past all these rocks without getting ouched? Mm -hmm. You have lots of confidence in me. Oh, uh -huh. grabbing ladders in midair is also an interesting challenge. Look, you can play this game for free. I don't care. But uh, you, the, you I don't like this level because I, of the background. It doesn't. I, I, it, I, I, I actually always like this I, background, even though it is distracting I, and horrible. I, I, <laughs> well, it's, it's, that makes it more difficult because this level itself really isn't that difficult. It's just a ball bouncing around. The ball bouncing I, I, mechanics in this though I, are slightly too randomized. I, Actually, one of the weaknesses of this program I, is that I, even when you had I, a, re a, a, a a ball, don't okay, don't don't get on me. <laughs> uh, even when you had a fairly regular I, moving. And the ball hit you. I think that's unlikely because it's only in the video game. Oh, the ball hit you? Alright. Caswell, can you say goodbye? Mom's gonna take you and play with you. No. Would you rather play Dad's video game? You're the only person that would. Yes. Trust me, most people like... Okay, this level, that was pretty lucky right there. This level has a randomly uh, bouncing bullet that actually changes its behavior completely unlike any of the other bullets. Um, uh, and it's the first time where it really plays around with the bullet uh, movements mm -hmm. and is thus one of the first difficult levels to think your way through. Yeah, ah. yeah I got the life! Okay, this target, if it touches right, you from one of <laughs> Okay. Okay. So special guest episode is over. Oh, so sad. So sad. Um, uh, this level, if the target hit touches you for more than a second, you die. So if you, so if it touches you, or for for more than a few milliseconds, you die. If you, oh, oh, and this level's nobody's gonna be able to see what's going on this level. But it's uh, this is called migraine. <laughs> it's actually called constructing a mine. I've actually left the yeah, title. a mine grain. I should have. I made. Oh that. my god, that cliff is really difficult. So, uh, uh, this is based on an obscure game called uh, Dig Dug. <laughs> this is based on Arkanoid. Yeah, uh, Oakham Asylum. Uh, we got an advanced copy back in uh, 95. That Arkanoid thing was a really, really obscure joke for people who grew up in, like, the 80s. Because, or 70s, maybe. Yeah. You know what? People who are now dead will get that joke. Well, people know Arkanoid. People know Arkanoid, but they may not know the, the difference between Arkanoid and Pong, which is the whole point of that joke. Oh, yes. Um, I, these bonus levels give you lots of I, lives when you beat them, I, so it's actually worth it even if you die a few times, just to collect, I, I, bone up on your lives. I, yeah. I, bone I, us. Uh, Today is the episode where I make bad puns. I, other than, uh, unlike other than all the other episodes. That's right. Where I make excellent I, puns. <laughs> As Shakespeare I, walks over and goes, Excuse I, me, sir. I, little pun I, made. And he didn't have, probably have an upper class accent, but anyway. I, I, Hello, Governor. I, I'm Shakespeare. I, I, Would you like to lick I, I, my I, fanny? I, I, oh, why did I say that? Oh my god, that just came out of me. I, 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 <laughs> that I said that very loud, too. Oh my god. I, oh well, Shakespeare had a nice fanny. It's true. She was very lovely. <laughs> um, I hope our British and American uh, viewers, of which there are none. Yeah, um, I've, I've looked at our. I've looked at our uh, the, the, Stuff. Oh, oh, don't. It's that depressing. Quote. Well, it's, it's all from Canada, so uh, we're very patriotic. That's right. Uh, see those little purple flags? If you grab them, they create more flags. Or platforms. Or platforms, yeah. 
They, they basically poof something into existence. Okay, this is this is uh, this level's hard. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It helps to play this level a whole bunch of times and master the pattern, which of which there is none, by the way. It's very random. Those guys shoot bullets, which you can't see because of the horrible backdrop. Um, <laughs> That's gonna be a running theme with this game, I feel. There's some gaudy backdrops and some. It, it's basically based on the technology that we were working with. It was basically tiles. Okay. Okay. This is possibly the first level, and it was slightly too hard because of the amount you had to climb up. There's only one enemy in it that's a unique enemy. That's the snake. He appears about in about three levels, mm -hmm. but he like fucks you up. He fucks up your shit. Because he he's goes so small, you, he's unassuming. You're like, oh, I can deal with that snake, and then you spend your time dodging the bullet, and then the snake bites you. That's right. The snake may bite my friend. Um, I'm going to actually avoid that one in, part in particular so I can grab the extra life. Yes. That's actually one of the strategies in this game that I use is if there's an extra life that's near the like, last flag that the level directs you towards, I usually skip one of the other ones and grab the life and then go back. Yeah, because the level's over the moment you get it. Yeah. Oh, this is the first boss. First boss. This one's based on, uh, uh, Okanax. Uh, Astyanax. Astyanax. The, the bosses aren't really based on anything in this. Um, oh, now. Um, notice we slightly improved the programming of the bullet in this level. Or not of the bullet, of your of the explosions, because they stick around in an awkward way. We didn't really know what we were doing. <laughs> well, you were... I don't know, 15, 16? Uh, something. Probably between 15 and 17 we were working on this. No. Okay, it really helps to beat this guy in one try. Which, if you can put together the dates we've given you, give you a hint on our ages. That's right, I'm somewhere between uh, 25 and dead. Yeah. To be fair, almost most people have some Oh! Okay. That was that yeah, was possible. He only has full HP. Oh, meanwhile! Uh, the, plot. The, the plot. Location. Space view deck. Lord? Yes. Um, there's some little guy on our ship running around setting explosives. Well, that's unfortunate. No matter. He or she will be destroyed by our defense system. Anything else? World of coffee, sir. No! You can tell this is the 90s because it has a no joke. <laughs> which uh, were popular in the 90s and then became popular after Star Wars and then ceased okay. to become popular. I, I do like this bonus stage. It's very hard to do um, because the game lags slightly when you do it. Oh yeah, this one. This is actually like a skill based one. It's really cool. Basically, the thing is, if you can't read the text uh, every time it crosses both lines, I think? Yeah. Or just the one line. Uh, you get a little point, and every ten points, you get an extra life. So, uh... And, and if you get hit by the bullet, you lose a whole bunch of points. Mm -hmm. So it's actually worth it to not do what I'm doing and give yourself a little bit more time. But I gotta rack up the lives as best I can. I, I used to be able to get, like, 70 on this. Uh, I'm not gonna get 70. No. It's lagging more than usual, but I suppose I am emulating it on an emulator. You're running like three off waiting systems at this moment. <laughs> Ten flags! No, I remember that one too, actually. Well, I, I don't... yeah. Okay, uh, now this level's actually one of the first that gets kind of hard. So those bullets, if they hit you, they don't kill you, but the, what they do is they free up one of the drones. This is one that that I think um, I came up with, but then uh, Michael needed to program it because I, I couldn't handle the program. You actually do want to draw them away a few times, but sometimes they can chase you for They get a little bit too close. They yeah. get a little bit too close. He's like, I'm not 100% comfortable with that. But if you need if there's another one of those levels where the sort of the, the backdrop actually works really oh, works in favor of the level because it really obscures where these little drones are that's until right. they start moving. That's right. I actually think that that's a, that's a positive thing about this level. Yeah. No, 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 I'm saying that's one thing I like about it, is that it uses sort of the, uh, the tech you know, limitations we had. The, the, the tech. I take full responsibility for this game, even though I had such a tiny part in it. You are basically a tiny part anyway. Yeah. Okay, that's oh. what the other one is. I was wondering okay. where the other one is. Yeah, well, so we found it. Yeah, it's are we going to survive? Oh. <laughs> Alright, let's try this again. Oh, I don't know if you've noticed, but at the top you can see the uh, names of each level, and they're generally a cute little pun. Okay, I want to get, I want to draw some of these enemies up so I can see them, and but I don't want to get killed by them. You see, it's a little dull, dull like a bang. Don't, don't get hit by, don't get hit no, there. No, 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 it's like a cover base shooter. This is basically Gears of War. This is. I really expect you to get hit though. 
<laughs> okay, so I'm drawing them away. You see how I'm drawing them towards the center and away from where I need to be? Yeah. That's what we call stratagem. Yeah. Or justifying yeah. your mistakes. No, no, no. That's totally stratagem, except I've drawn them much closer to me than I want them to be. But you only need the one flag. If I can get it. Oh, God. Okay, and so with that, we deal with blades hitting us at high velocity. Six, six, six.